Although the IRS remains a primary target, the new trend in stealing tax refunds is going after state returns. Financial predators purchasing your personal information, including social security numbers, from hackers. Then filing a tax return in your name, collecting your refund. And it impacts tens of thousands of Maryland citizens who have had their identities stolen. State Controller Peter Franchot says in the past 10 years, his office has intercepted 76,000 fraudulent returns, totaling some $174 million. The agency even created a questionable returns detection team to root out fraudulent refunds. A dozen people using sophisticated software constantly monitoring. We're calling together the federal and state and local uh, authorities and stakeholders and uh, laying out some uh, parameters as to what we can do to protect the taxpayers. The controller and Governor Hogan are teaming up, pushing legislation addressing this crime. It's again a good kind of good government, good ethics, uh, um, you know, consumerism type of bill that we supported and thought he did a good job on and agreed to get behind it with him. The 2017 Taxpayer Protection Act increases the statute of limitations to prosecute from three to six years. This gives investigators time to unravel these complicated schemes. It grants subpoena power and charging document authority to the controller's tax enforcement officers. It changes the date employers must send out W-2s from the end of February to the end of January, giving thieves less time to fill out your return. Keep your elbows up because there's a tremendous amount of financial identity theft and fiscal fraud going on. A similar measure passed both the House and the Senate with overwhelming support. They simply ran out of time to send it to the governor for his signature. In Annapolis, David Collins, WBIL-TV 11 News.